In goes Platoon. Stand by for a start. And they're racing in the Schweppes WA Derby of 2019. And it was the Philly Ping Me Another that flew the gates, landing in front. Chapasco showing plenty of speed also. He came out running and so did Utgard Loki and Cockney Crew pressing on. Now the favourite's going back there, second from last in the early stages. And Platoon's going to pop in behind him as Chapasco takes it up. So at the judge the first time around in the Derby and Chapasco pricks his ears. Cockney Crew set forward now by Hall. And he's going to burn around the outside and quickly head off Chapasco with Utgard Loki third. Ping me and others back running fourth, leaving the straight from Accelerate. Apparition down on the inside settling next ahead of Without Reason. Lady Sass is on the rail. Then came Mackenzie Brook, one off the fence over on the outside of Adornment. They're being followed by the Oaks winner, Dark Choice then Brolita Five. The favourite back there, second last, Regal Power trailing it is Platoon. They put the 1500 behind them, going up onto the far corner. Cockney Crew rolling in the derby. Two lengths clear from Chapasco, a length and a half to Woodguard Loki, then a further three ping me another, one and a half away then is Accelerate, Apparition is next on the fence in a strung out derby field a length to Without Reason and Lady Sass over towards the inside three quarters Mackenzie Brook, back towards the rail is Adornment, then Dark Choice, the best part of 12 lengths from the leader, further back Brolita Five and then Regal Power the Hot Pot and two lengths Platoon so they come down the riverside of the track with Cockney Crew, out in front and ensuring that the derby's going to be run at a really genuine pace. Cockney Crew by more than two. Chapasco toes the others up to him second. A length and a half to Woodguard Loki. Back on the fence, the filly ping me another. Joined around them by Accelerate. Then came Apparition. Turner's about to go with without reason. Then Lady Sass. Off the bridle, Mackenzie Brook adornment. Well back in the field then. Dark Choice Regal Power Brolita Five and last of all is Platoon. Cockney Crew giving them something to catch in the class at the 500 they come to the corner in the derby and Hall shakes him up again Cockney Crew two in front ping me another tracking up behind him comes away from the fence ahead of Chapasco Woodguard Loki apparition down towards the inside the favourite still well back in the field Regal Power as ping me another ranges up joins Cockney Crew fighting two lengths Lady Sass here comes Regal Power now he's starting to cut them down two to their one Cockney Crew regain the lead from ping me another Regal Power diving lunging got He's got there the hot pot. Regal Power has cut them down to win from Cockney Crew. Ping me another. Then Lady Sass without reason was next home. Followed by Dark Choice from Last Platoon. Then Apparition and Accelerate. Next home, Brolita 5. Chapasco got tied. Utgard Loki knocked right up. Well back, Mackenzie Brook. And amongst the last of them home is Adornment. Well, if you took the $1.35 or thereabouts... You better dash to the bar and have a real stiff whiskey. Pike. Pike's got there. Another derby win in the Cerise and the White. So brave Cockney crew and ping me another. But at the end of the day, Regal Power has emulated the deeds of his brother Action, who won the Classic 12 months ago. Cockney crew. Heroic if he could have held on. He was fighting. He went down absolutely giving it everything from ping me another one three eleven of the numbers one three and eleven in a thrilling finish to the Schweppes WATC derby regal power he's done it again the maestro man Bob Peters with Grant and Alana Williams and William Pike you'd need to take off your shoes and socks to count how many derbies they've won and he beats Cockney Crew, Peter Hall, and ping me another, the first of the Phillies home, Sean McGruddy. So there it is, Regal Power. Very smart, up-and-coming three-year-old that conceded them a big start, but he was classy enough to cut them down with every stride he was coming. And so often the case, Pike, with that instinctive sense of where the post is, lifted him there, right to the line, just as he needed to do over Cockney Crew and Ping Me Another. Let's go to Brittany Taylor. She's about to catch up with the Derby winning rider once again here in William Pike. And uh, what a grandstand finish it promised it uh, provided to be, Britt.
Oh, certainly, Darren, and you could hear the grandstand as well, and I think that's how you know what's happening in a photo finish. When you hear that grandstand erupt, $1.35 or thereabouts, he ended up very, very short in the market. Pikey, coming into the corner, what were you thinking? You were spotting the leaders a long, long way. Oh, absolutely. I, I was actually concerned at the 1,200. I could see where Hawley was, and I just thought, oh, dear, this is, this is going to be interesting. Um, I got on the back of Mr Peter's other runner. I was hoping she might be able to get me further and she couldn't. I really just didn't get that card up I was desperate for and spotting the leaders that distance on straightening. Um, I just had to be careful. I didn't panic myself. I thought if I, uh, if I went and did something silly or tried too hard and got him off stride, that was the worst thing I could do. I just had to stay balanced and stay focused and um, I know they're going to run through the line. They're prepared so well, these horses. You just know they're going to run right every step to that line. And Darren called it in the straight. He was going two to their one. How incredible did he feel in that finish when he was just gobbling up the field? I felt very good, but uh, he needed to be from where I was. He, he for me, uh, you know, it's not a great spectacle, but like, for me, the top of the straight to the furlong is, is the best for me because that's where I really feel that big effort come in. He balances up, you feel the extension. Um, and then inside the furlong, it's just a matter of character, whether he, whether he had it in him just to hold himself together to get over the top of him, and, and he was too good. He showed his character today. 12 months ago, it was his full brother action doing it. How do the two compare? Very similar, actually. Um, nearly identical twins, apart from colour, I suppose. Um, everything about them is similar. They, just, they need that 50 metres earlier than you think to wind up, and... Uh, they keep coming and, uh, as I said, they're just prepared so well for these races and they just had them spot on for the day. It was a brilliant performance today. Congratulations, another derby. Thank you very much. Yeah, eight derbies now for Bob Peters WA derbies and you had an Australian derby and a South Australian derby. That's ten derbies, Bob, and what about that? Yes, well, that was probably uh, the, the uh, hardest one. <laughs> Did you think that he was going to get there? Uh, I... I I thought he would, but then uh, I started to calculate how many extra links he'd covered uh, in, uh, on top of what all the others had done. And, uh, but I did ask him to stay in the clear, so he did that. He won like a good horse today to give those horses a start and then reel them in. Yes, he was, um, he was good today. You've always had a big opinion of him. Yes, he was very unlucky in a lot of his early races. We were you know, riding him for luck and uh, the luck didn't come and he got caught up and caught up and caught up. and. If you look at his record, I think it's about five or six, five stakes races he was, he's run a place in. Yeah, and then he's won a couple. Brittany Taylor mentioned to Willie that um, he did get a long way back and he was starting to storm home. But she also did mention about action last year winning this race and they're similar thoroughbreds. Is that how you see it as well? Yes, I think this fellow is a bit better than Action. OK, does he follow that path that Action did towards some of the bigger races and maybe the Perth Cup next year? Oh, we'll worry about that later, I think. We'll just see how he pulls up and uh, he'll tell us where he is. But uh, he's a good sound horse, so everything should be good. Is this one of your best seasons, Bob? You've won the railway with the Galaxy Star. Acadia Queen was dominant in the Kingston Towns. You won the Guineas. You win the Perth Cup. Um, or you went, just went down in the uh, Perth Cup. The classics as well, you've, you've done it all this year, basically. I think we won the Perth You did win the Star Exhibit. <laughs> it's hard to remember them all, Bob. Yep. Is this the best season that you've had? Oh, I'd say it would be, uh, yes. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But we did get beaten in the winter bottom. You did? You finished second? Yeah, I didn't like that. How is a Tyson Star and a Katie Queen? No, she's good. Okay. Yeah. Hey, job well done, Bob. I only mention that because she was the one most expected to win a Group 1, and she didn't. It's been a wonderful season. Well done. Thank you. There is the great Bob Peters there, and he's done it all. He's won it all this season here in the West. Well under Willie Pike. Well under the connections there of Cockney Crew. I don't know if we can have a quick word to Kieran McDonough because you nearly you nearly stole it, Kieran. What a race it was, and um, you must be so proud of your boy. Oh, very proud. Very tough. Um, yeah, stings a little bit to go down by that margin, but uh, yeah, we live to fight another day. Was that, were they the instructions to Peter Hall? We had a quick word to him before the race. He suggested that he would ride a similar race th that he, he showed there in that race. But um, I thought your horse just kept on kicking. I thought he was going to kick back there for a sec. Yeah, he's tough and he loves a fight. And I said, we were just a little bit slow out of the barriers today, which I just, I don't know if it cost us the race, but I think I need to go and dissect it a bit and see, yeah. 
What did Pete say when he got back? Oh, he said very tough horse. He was. He said he just kept finding and finding, and he fought to the line. You know, to say. And he's still a little bit immature, so I think he's, there's definitely room for improvement. And you must be proud, obviously. This is probably your, your best horse so far in the early part of your training career, but to go so close in a derby. Yeah, and as it's my first runner in the derby. Yeah, we had this planned out a while. Yeah, just go down by a short half head or whatever it was. It still yeah, stings a little, but yeah. You should be proud. Well done, Kieran. Cheers, thank you. There we go. There's Kieran McDonough, the trainer of Cockney Crew. Um, we might take a quick break here on Sky Thoroughbred Central. I was going to have a chat to Chris Willis, but he's left to give his filly a pat. It was a great race. It was a great derby. Regal Powell, too strong. Time for a quick break here on Sky Thoroughbred Central. On the other side of it, we are going to relive that wonderful journey of the greatest of all time in Wink straight after the break here on Channel 528.